this is how your machine will ship. Um, it might have plastic over the top of it, depending on how it ships. But you'll have banding on the grip strut. You'll have banding over here on your separator. And your cover lift will be tipped down. So you'll need tin snips to cut the banding. And then everything over here will be ready to go. As far as your cover lift, you're going to need a 916 socket or a wrench and another person. You'll loosen these three on this side, same three on the other side. Flip it up, tighten them back down, and then your cover lift will be in operating position. All right, back here is where you're going to hook into your air. You're going to need a 3 8 inch line to plumb in right into the regulator. We've got this set to 40 PSI already. That's what we recommend to run it at. We also have an oiler on here. The oiler is set to one up on the top, uh, just to make sure we don't get too much oil through. The only thing you're oiling is the cylinder, so it doesn't need a lot. If you start to see oil coming through here, you've probably got it set a little too high, so back it off quite a bit. Once you get the machine, you're gonna wanna hook power to it. So your, the power in is here. You'll just pull this plug. Inside the electrical box, you'll find your manual, some of the motor manuals, along with your cam wrench handle. Uh, power will get hooked up here. You'll have to pull these out and wire in for your incoming power. Once that's done, you're gonna bring this out. And there's a hook up front here to hook it. Every 700 hours, you're gonna put a couple of shots of grease in each one of the bearings. So you come to this side and you pull off all the panels. And you've got your grease circs. There's five on each side. You're gonna put two shots of grease with a grease gun in and then clean it up so that it doesn't look like that. Once you're done greasing on this side, you're gonna to wanna to double check your belts so you can remove this panel or walk around to the front and make sure that there's no fraying or cracking. To check your belt, you'll pull this panel and you want about a quarter inch of play in these belts. You can also check to see if there's any damage to them. In order to tighten them, you'll come back and you can tighten with these two bolts here. On this side where we've got our poly chain kit, our poly chain, we'll pull this panel. You also have four uh, barrel bearings and one center bearing. So you'll have five bearings on this side that you'll also want to grease. We just use our regular grease gun with the general purpose lithium grease from the hardware store. With the poly chain, if you over tighten it, you can bend shafts. It is a chain, even though it's a belt, it's considered a chain and you can bend the shafts. So do not over tighten it. Don't tighten it at all. Call us if you do need to tighten it, if it's looser than what this is. And as far as the bearings go, you don't want to over grease them. If you're seeing grease come out, that's when the steel seals start to fail. So you just want to put two shots of grease in each one just to get fresh grease inside. You don't want to over grease them. Okay. After you run a cycle, your barrels will be under pressure. So these pins might not move exactly free. So what you'll do is you'll come in and you can tap on the cam and then they'll move. If it still doesn't, you can just put the wrench on the cam and give it a little wiggle and it'll move so that you can open the cam up then. Just don't hit the safety pin with the wrench because you will break it. If your machine comes with a spray header option, all you do is hook up a regular garden hose and then it'll run while the separator runs. All right, in addition to our general maintenance, you're gonna to wanna to make sure that you're keeping your drain pans clean. If you can see here, just after a short period of running, we've got some slurry. So there's a separate video on how to clean all that out. We sell a product that will help. So as you can see in this machine, this is our lab machine. You get a buildup all over all of the parts. What you're gonna to wanna to do every thousand hours or so is make sure that you go through and do a thorough cleaning. Um, scrub the machine down. You can pressure wash some of the parts in here to keep them clean. Make sure that there's no media built up and hiding in any places where there are moving parts to make sure that all of your components don't break. 
Another thing we do is we use WD-40 on all of our cams because they can get some buildup in them. So we'll come in and we'll just put a shot in and spray them. Move them around, make sure they're lubricated. We also spray the safety pins on both sides. 